Hello, everybody, and welcome back to 1.13 Minecraft. And today, I am going to be continuing to explore the ocean. So last episode, I found some buried treasure, which is right down there. And we found this kind of like island uh, area here as well. Uh, there's also some turtles over there. So I just want to come onto the land here for a little bit and see what is actually here if there's anything interesting like a village or something if not then we'll uh go continue exploring the ocean um doesn't look like anything too interesting uh so let's just go ahead and get back in the boat and let's uh start looking for some more stuff because we want to try and get uh the trident and that um that other thing which i don't know the name of it uh, but it's the thing I need the shells for. And I think there's something over here. It looks interesting. It's hard to tell. Is that a structure or not? Oh, wait. It's a boat. Okay. So let's, uh, let's get out and let's uh, check for treasure. Hopefully this isn't one I've already been to. Nothing good in there. Uh, normally it's about two chests in these places, maybe even three. Okay, I definitely haven't been here because there's, uh, this stuff. Okay, that's pretty much everything we can grab. Let me just see if there's any other... Oh, wait, there is. There's another chest. Okay, so this one has three chests, which is good. It's a dolphin over there. So let's go ahead and head down here. And we have a map. I'm assuming this might be the same one. Yeah, it's the same one. Just we're at so uh we'll just go ahead and get back in the boat and continue looking for more structures i don't see anything at the moment it is getting dark out so i might be able to sleep uh there's also fish around as well um let's see any structures let's go ahead and sleep here on this little um play, little piece of land here uh, it's just like one sugarcane plant, and that's it. It's kind of an interesting area. Um, there's some fish over there. I thought that was something swimming in the water. So let's just look and see if we see anything. I see lots of um, seaweed or kelp or whatever. I don't know. What, what is it called? <laughs> I, I don't actually know what that stuff is called. should probably figure that out. Um, okay. Let's go in that direction. I feel like that uh, direction might have something. There are these things down here. I think that's just land, but you never know. Whenever you see, like, weird, like, like formations under the water, it's possibly something. Um, those fish are jumping. Uh, let me just go check. Oh, wait, this is a, um, this is a ravine here. Um, let's see, there's actually some air. Oh, this is actually, like, a cave. There's some redstone. Let's see if we can find any diamonds. There's redstone here. Let me just, like, quickly check to see if there happens to be any diamonds. Can't even break this. Oh, that was, that, that was dangerous. Luckily, we had water there. Um, uh, oh, yeah, maybe we should not mine over here. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is not a good place to be. Let's, um... Let's go over this way. I don't... Do I have torches? I do. I have 50 of them. Might be a good idea to get rid of these. Because then we have more space. I don't really have any space to really grab anything. I do have space if we do find diamonds. So that's mainly why I'm checking. Just to see if we happen to find any. Because uh, we actually don't have a lot of diamonds. And to defeat the Ender Dragon, you want diamond armor. So, we're just going to take a quick look. And we really haven't explored these underwater caves that much. And I think mainly the reason for that is because we don't have the water breathing potions. That's why we got the puffer fish. Because the puffer fish are, is used for water breathing. And those shells are also used for making an item that kind of makes like a, a bubble of air. And you can kind of like make like an underwater like air bubble. That you can like build in stuff. It's really interesting. That's why I want to try and get it because um, it's very useful for doing anything underwater. 
Um, which it will probably allow us to explore these underwater caves better if we have it. Um, so it doesn't look like there's really anything down here. So I'm just going to head back up. Let me just quickly look. It's really hard to see under the water, so I can't really see any structures. Um, that looks really interesting there. I don't know if that's a structure or not. I think it's just part of the ravine. Uh, that definitely looks like something. Uh, we'll go over there in a second, but I just want to see. Um, yeah, it's just generation. It looks, it looks really interesting, though. So let's go ahead and get in the boat, and let's go over to that, I'm um, guessing, uh, ship that's over here. Pretty sure we haven't been there yet. Problem is, is it, with everything looking the same, it's hard to tell where you've been and where you haven't been. So I may have already been to this uh, ship, but we don't know until we go. So let's go and head over here and see. I don't think I've been here yet, because this looks like an area that's not familiar. So, I'm assuming this is a new one. It's actually a jungle ship. So, I definitely have not been here because I've never seen a jungle one. That looks interesting. We're going to go over there next. So, it looks like they can have, like, different wood uh, for each ship. So, this one just happens to be a jungle uh, ship. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and grab this stuff. Um, there's probably going to be another chest over there. This one might have three. It's probably going to have another one down there. And then one on the other side. Okay, can I get through? Uh, so that actually has, like, the new, like, trap doors. So here's a map. Let's go ahead and look at this real quick. Um, it looks like a new map. Problem is, now we have to get rid of something. Um, what do we get rid of? Kind of want everything I have. Um, let's, uh, let me find the chest. Let's get rid of the crafting table, because I can always find, I can find, I can always make another one of those. Um, yeah, uh, oh, that's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to look up the, uh, what the different, uh, curse enchantments do. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, so, I'm gonna have to look at that, uh, see what they actually do. Um, but before we go to this treasure map, we need to go over here and see what this thing is. Um, is this even something? Let's kind of dig at, dig it out. Um, there's lava uh, blocks in here. I think this is supposed to be like one of those underwater things. Oh, okay, don't do that. Uh, yeah, see, I knew it. I knew there would be a chest. It's a really bad one. Ooh, mending. Okay, so this, I actually did research because of an issue we were having in uh, Michael Sam World with uh, pickaxe, like, being unbreakable. I think mending would be a really good enchantment for a fishing rod, mainly because every time you catch a fish, you get experience, and the way mending works is every experience you, like, repair. Um, so... That would pretty much be an unbreakable, um, unbreakable, uh, fishing rod. So, if I just, like, combine that enchantment with, like, one of my other ones, then it would be a really good fishing rod. Problem with that is I don't think you can combine enchantments from one fishing rod to another. Um, I'm also not sure where I'm supposed to be going to get on this map. I'm going in this direction, because I feel, oh, that's a good sign. We are starting to get on the map. Okay, so I am going the right direction. So let's go to this. I, I have a feeling it's this I, this uh, land over here. Uh, it might be it right here because this looks like sand. I think it's going to be right here somewhere. Yeah, it's, it's going to be like right here. So this is going to be our second treasure chest. We haven't found um, our... Or, uh, or zombie friend that normally brings us a shell yet. But we'll probably find one, uh, find one of those at some point. So, it's pretty much like right here. Let's start digging. Um, here we go. Let's go down the pickaxe and hopefully find something. The problem with these is it's really hard to get like an exact spot because you have to be like 
exactly on the block uh, to be able to find these things. And I have a feeling this isn't it because they're normally not that deep down. Let's see if there's anything that looks out of place. No. And normally what I end up doing is just going crazy with the shovel. Um, but if I, like, dig, like, tunnels down, uh, I could only be, like, one block away from... Oh, it's right here. Okay, we found it. Okay, uh, another one of these things. More iron. More cooked fish. Um, don't need any of those. Yeah, so that wasn't too hard. So, this map, we don't need that anymore. Um, one thing I do want is to get my shell. So, let's, let's go, um, let's get back in the boat and let's just go kind of uh, around the area and see if we can find a zombie that just happens to be holding my shell. Because we've had really good luck these past few episodes where a zombie holding the shell would just swim up to me. And I've gotten, I think, two of them like that already. Actually, I think I got all of them like that. I don't think I've ever gotten one from fishing yet. So, let's just kind of swim around here. Not swim. We can ride our boat around here. And just see if we see any structures or zombies. They actually, I don't think they spawn at the structures. I think they're just, like, randomly swimming. Um, the ones that give the shells. So, we're just going to keep looking. That looks suspicious over there. We're going to go over there next, but I want to just see what this thing is. It just looks... Oh, wait. That's the, um... Yeah, we don't want to go over there. That's the, um, the other thing. I have a feeling I've also been here because there's stuff floating in the water. So I have a feeling I've already been here. Uh, unbreaking. Yeah, I've been here. Okay, so we're right now, um, in an area that I've already been. So we should probably go somewhere else. We don't want to go over there because that's towards that, um, that sea temple. Um, oh, right, I see the guardians. Yeah, we don't want to go over there. That's definitely another thing you need diamond armor for. And water breathing. You definitely need water breathing for that place. Um, so let's go this direction. Um, I don't see any zombies yet. I don't know if they spawn in this kind of water. That's the other thing, is we're actually in, um, uh, different water here. Uh, I don't know the exact name of... Ooh, pufferfish. We need that. Quick, come back, pufferfish. Ow! They're very dangerous, but I need these for water breathing potions. Ow, ow, ow! Don't hit me! Or not hit me, poison me. There we go, got him. Um, okay, so, yeah, those things are very dangerous, but we definitely need... Oh, wait, what are these? Okay, it is kelp. Okay, so these things are kelp. Um, that's another puffer fish. Ow, 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 don't do that. Okay, we got him. Um, let's get rid of this. So, you can eat the kelp. It's not the best. It's, um, definitely food if you really need it. But it, um, otherwise doesn't really have any other purpose. Oh, I, th I thought there was, like, some weird mob. I, like, looked over there and was like, what is that? It's like a black, like, Enderman, like, thing. But it was just a horse's head. Um, okay, let's see. There is, this is actually, like, really deep water. Um, it's actually easier to see from up here. This is, like, deep water here. Um, it's also some zombies and stuff spawning over there. What is, oh! Are you my shell guy? Do you have a shell? No, you don't have a shell. Oh, wait, do these guys spawn at night? I wonder if these guys only spawn at night. So maybe it's easier. Yeah, see, there's loads of them. So maybe we go shell hunting at night, and then we can possibly get some more shells, because these guys were definitely not here before. I'm pretty sure they're spawning in because it's nighttime. Um, okay. Wait, there's another guy right over there. Okay, so we're just gonna, like, sit here for a little bit. That's a dolphin. Um, wait, where was that one guy? Where'd he go? Oh, I see him. He's right there. There, let me, let me swim over to him. I see you. Oh, wait, there's another one. There's two of them. Okay, this, this is a really good way of hopefully getting a shell. If they actually have one. 
The problem is all the ones I've found so far, none of them have a shell. Um, this guy doesn't have a shell, but he's going to keep following me until I get rid of him. So, we might as well get rid of him. There we go. Any more? They're really hard to spot. But, they definitely spawning. Because it's night time. I don't see any. But, they're also really difficult. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a dolphin. It's just anything moving. It also doesn't help that I'm bouncing. If I, what if I stop bouncing? Does that help? Not really. Now I'm gonna drown. Oh wait, I thought that was guys just a, uh, just a kelp. Doesn't look like there's any more. Um, let's just keep like looking around because they're definitely spawning, and I don't know the percentage of them spawning with a um, shell, but I'm assuming it's pretty low. Um, but it's still better chance of getting one. From that here than it is from like a fishing rod. So let's just kind of swim, or uh, not swim, we'll ride our boat around. Um, and see if we see any more. There is the, uh, the coral reef, uh, around here as well. And I don't think they spawn in that biome. I'm not sure exactly where they spawn. Uh, I also think this might be where I've already been. Either this is the same coral reef or it's a different one. So we're going to start going back this direction. But we definitely want to keep looking for these zombie water people. Um, I also have to end the episode. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.